Welcome back to Talk Show Night. Uh, our guest today is Spooky Ruben. Now, uh, we, you, all of us kind of first started noticing him uh, in the 90s when he released Modes of Transportation, Volume 1, became a staple of much music at MTV, and then over the last decade or so has continued to release awesome solo records and has started producing really strange videos that air on this channel, Ox and on Exclaim TV, uh, as Spooky Ruben's Dizzy Playground. It's nuts, and it's awesome, and he just released his latest solo record, Mechanical royalty, and it is nuts and awesome. So, Spooky Ruben. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> How's it going, sir? How you doing? Thanks, Thanks for coming, coming man. man. Cheers. Oh. All right. Okay. I like your sunglasses. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was wondering if I should keep them on. Maybe I'll take them off. They look good. It's Maybe we'll do both, whatever, okay. yeah. You can we'll do the interview <laughs> twice, both ways. Okay, yeah, and, and then we'll we're intercut. Like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we, we mentioned uh, when, when you were coming on about what you've been doing with Spooky Ruben's Dizzy Playground, mm -hmm. which is totally off the fucking wall, weird, mm -hmm. interesting, exciting stuff. Where does the idea to have your head under a platter singing to you come from? <laughs> we should probably put that clip in yeah. right now. Explain. <laughs> okay, um, a lot of my ideas are kind of based on sort of juxtapositioning things that aren't usually put together, you know, be it, um, I mean, I think that even goes for my music, and, uh, and I guess it comes out in my videos also. Do you, has there been anything that you've come up with, I guess, for this first batch of shows where you've been excited that you've been able to pull off, like something especially kind of like visually off the wall? Well, most of the time I'm, I'm actually not sure at all if it's gonna work out. And I think a lot of how it turns out in the end is actually defined more by how it's edited than by how it's conceived originally. And a lot of it is sort of fixed in editing, so to speak. <laughs> no. like, not like yeah. this show at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> Everything we do is flawless. <laughs> We could be broadcasting live, and it, I don't think it would make much of a difference. It would be the same. It is live, okay. actually. Yeah. We should let people know that. We should have, like, the date and time running in the corner <laughs> of the screen. Just thing. like, yeah. What about, I mean, I, I, a lot of stuff that I've read uh, in regards to Mechanical Royalty, mm -hmm. uh, your latest record, is that it's pretty bright when you take those off, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Take> some, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Continue. Just, uh, but with Mechanical Royalty, I've, I've read a lot about, A, people love it. It's a awesome record, mm -hmm. and then B, you know, Spooky Ruben is this great songwriter, puts up super interesting music, and it's hard because, you know, there's often a lot of time between your records, and they're like, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard for you to sort of pick up momentum and like... Well, I guess what makes Spooky Ruben different is that from, let's say, um, a band that, like an indie band that has a career that's consistently putting out records, is that I'm not a band, you know, I'm not really, and I don't feel like I necessarily um, need to go through that machine of, okay, we're going to put out an album, and then we're going to go on tour, and then we're going to put out another album, and then we're going to go on tour, and then we're going to put out another album, and then we're going to go on tour again. <laughs> it's like, I just don't feel, to me, it's like, I'm much, I think I'm much more interested in the sort of artistic, um, just letting me be happy with the art and the music and stuff. Is, is much more important to me than like... Was there a period of time, like sort of during, I guess, like the 90s, sort of like TVT area, where that was hard to get away from, where it was hard to get away from that system of like, you put out a record every two years and you tour it, and that's sort of like... Yeah, I think I, I kind of, after my first album and going on tour for like two years straight, basically I think a lot of my dreams of being a musician were kind of shattered, and I kind of had to, I told a lot of people to go away and... I kind of had to, after a couple of years, I had to sort of rebuild everything from scratch, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think now I've actually, I think I have a much more realistic point of view. Fans that are into Spooky Ruben know that I'm kind of <laughs> doing my own thing. Like they're not, I'm not making albums to please my fans, you know what I mean? Or 
making DVDs. Oh, I'm doing that for the fans. Like, I don't really do anything for the fans. Mm -hmm. You know, I think they just kind of come to me whenever I'm ready, you know, kind of. And they're just like, I'm excited that Brendan Canning is talking on a wooden phone. It's sort of like the feeling of what happens. We can throw that in right now, too, so people have some idea what that is. <laughs> hello? Sir Wilfred York, hello, it's King Wesson from Ulster Castle. King who? Ooty Biggs is in danger. He's trapped somewhere in Nob Hill Gardens. You must rescue him immediately. O.T. Biggs? Nob Hill Gardens? Cheers. We're going to come back. Okay. I'm switching to beer now. All That's right, it. sweet. <laughs> We're going to come back. That's a good point. Smoogie Rubens cut to beer. Back with more talk show night.